What's up? Uh, I already did this video, but it, uh, it fucking disappeared. It does that shit sometimes. So let's uh, let's let's do this again. Um, somebody asked me because I mentioned liberals. What do you think about feminists? First of all, I, by the way, I'm not against liberals. I'm against any group, um, you know, any subgroup that's ta that, that's fucking stupid. So the people who are anti-hunting, you know, anti don't kill the cute animals. Oh my god, are mostly liberals, and that just happens to be who they are. People who are anti-gay are mostly right-wing conservatives, and those people are idiots as well, and that just happens to be who they are. So don't take me calling the liberals as a, a, an attack against all liberals, because that's not what it is. They just happen to be on the liberal side of the spectrum. Um, ask me to comment on feminism. Um, and I'll, I'm, I'm going to expand that to talk about women and men in general, at least my personal opinion of the situation. Um, now, feminism, you know, am I against feminism? No, I'm not against equal rights for women. 99.9% .9 of the time, um, women can do anything that men can do. That, that's, that's, that's without question. Um, there are certain things that most women are not physically capable of doing, uh, but that's, that's not a discriminatory thing. That's just a fact of, of life. Um, you know, some women can do that. Most can't. That's why you have lower requirements for lifting for female firefighters. And I don't think it's as bad as it used to be, but they have lower requirements for training in the military. Shit like that. Um, you know. And there's a certain you know, practical reason for that, that most women just can't do that. Though it is somewhat unfair to the women who are physically capable of doing it, that they're being treated like pussies um, you know, because the other women can't cop it. But I, you know, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, but, you know, in our society, in terms of legal restrictions, in terms of set, you know, shit like that, there are no more barriers to women being able to do anything. The, the, the only barriers are ones that either women construct themselves or are, you know, social barriers, stigmas, excuse me, um, that go on. So to a certain extent, I question whether feminism is a necessary movement, uh, at least radical feminism at this point, uh, just like radical black power movement is no longer necessary. Uh, the, the, the purpose was served, but the, the, you know, the goals have been accomplished. The actual physical barriers, the actual legal restrictions to your equality are no longer exist. Uh, and if anything, I, I consider radical feminism to be detrimental uh, to women's integration and what they consider to be a male-dominated society, though I would question if that's even true. Um, you know. So, you know, it, it, it's about equality. It's not about uh, special privileges. Um, and th that, that's where I stand on that. Um, a lot of these feminists hate men uh, and they hate men because um, they are women who didn't, who were never able to recognize what was wrong with them. Um, there's a couple of important things I want to touch on. Um, a lot of people, you know, you can write a million books on the differences between men and women, um, but some of the most important ones I've found uh, in my personal experience is the way that the differences between, between how men and women approach aggressive behavior uh, and aggression towards other people. Because women are just as aggressive as men. It's a myth that they're not. Uh, but women approach aggressiveness differently than men. And it's similar to the way that they express emotion and feelings. Um, it's different. You know, women, you know, passive aggressiveness is, is a trait that... Uh, is common. Not to say that men can't be passive aggressive, there are certainly passive aggressive men, and not to say that all women are passive aggressive, there are certainly women who are not. But you're more like, if someone is passive aggressive, they're more likely to be a woman. Um, and this you can see for yourself quite easily, m much easier now uh, in the age of social networking sites. Look, look at your Facebook. I mean, really, really look at, 
you know, most people just skip over status comments unless it's some, you know, status updates, unless it's somebody they actually give a shit about. But, you know, most people have a bunch of friends on there they don't even fucking talk to. Look, look at the, the, the posts of females. Um, you will see a bunch of really bizarre, passive-aggressive shit going on. Um, really kind of vague comments that, that you wouldn't really pick up as being passive-aggressive unless you knew a little bit about some conflict going on. They'll do that shit all the time. Men generally don't do that. And I, I think that's an important distinction. Uh, and it kind of goes hand in hand with another issue, um, which is what I consider to be a myth that you know men don't express their emotions, men don't open up and all that shit. That's not true. Um, in fact, I find uh, women to be much more emotionally um, elusive than men. You know, if you ask a man what his problem is, he might not tell you. But if he's going to tell you, he's going to fucking tell you. He will tell you. Uh, most men will do that. It's just most people don't ask him. Uh, women expect men just to come out and say some shit. Uh, but a lot of times with women, you have to jump through a bunch of fucking hoops to get at what the issue is. Uh, a bunch of tangents getting back to what the fuck is the problem. And, you know, women, women don't recognize that, but it's the truth. Um, not all women are like that, of course, but a lot of them are. And in fact, I'd say the majority uh, are like that. And I think these are important distinctions to be made. These are the, these are the two major differences between men and women, is, is the way that men and women approach aggression and the way that men and women approach um, emotion and expressing If, if a guy doesn't like a guy, usually he'll either just not talk to the motherfucker or he'll tell them. Um, you know, they won't play a bunch of fucking games with him. Um, and, and, and frankly, women are mean, man. Um, when they don't like a person, uh, do a bunch of really sick emotional shit to people. Uh, and a lot of times they don't even notice it. Um, which is interesting. Now, An interesting point is this often repeated um, idea that women like bad boys or women like um, assholes is another good term for it. Um, I don't believe that that's the case. You know, some some women do. Some women are just sadists. Um, you know, but that, that's not the majority. Most women aren't like, ooh, I want to go fuck an asshole. This guy's an asshole. I, I want him to have. I want to have his children. Um, that's not the that's not the uh, the goal, but the, the the reason that you have a bunch of um, basement dwelling losers sitting at their computers complaining about how much you know women women you know nice guys always finish last women don't like nice guys. Um, the missing element is is charisma, and even if this guy might be really a douche, but he has charisma to a certain extent. Even if it's a small amount, it's likely more than you have. And that's the distinction. But the, but women aren't without guilt here because women know this is true. Um, they will tell you this. They like charisma. They like that shit. So that what I am saying, 99% of women will, will agree with it. If not openly, they know it in their fucking mind. Um, but they know it. They know it. And they know that there, there's sometimes a rational pursuit of a charismatic man leads them to Douchebags. Um, so women aren't without without fault on that because they fucking know what they're doing. But you know, let's talk about abuse. You know, when when men abuse women, not even necessarily physically, but men that abuse women usually abuse women that they're in a relationship with. Women who abuse men usually abuse men that they're not in a relationship with. That's why you have a bunch of dudes that want to fucking slip their wrists because, you know, this girl that they're in love with or think they're in love with, you know, is, is you know, telling them about all their fucking problems with Joe and Joe's a douche or whatever, blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, and all this shit and talking about how, oh, yeah, you know, thank you for talking to me and all this shit. And then just, you know, go back and, 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 and sleep with the other guy. And that really fucks with a lot of people's heads. And I, I don't think women and I, I don't even think they know when they're doing it.
that's the way it is. So I, I, I think that you know, I pointed out some important differences. And that that's really is the two most important things to remember, I think, is the way that women approach, women and men approach aggressiveness and women and men approach um, emotions and the different ways that abuse manifests itself depending on which sex is involved in. So, you know, overall, feminism in the sense of women being equal in all cases that is physically possible, that's great. I'm 100% for that. Um, you know, um, I, I might have what some would consider irrational sexist views. The idea of women in combat kind of fucks with my head, but I can't see any rational reason really why they shouldn't be allowed to. So I say go for it. But still part of me is like, eh, you know what I'm saying? Um, female police officers kind of bugs me, uh, mostly for what I consider to be rational reasons. You know, you, I, I've seen really tiny women. How are you going to fuck with some giant ass guy fucking on crack or some shit? You know, shit like that. But besides those little um, uh, remaining subconscious uh, sexist views you know, women are 100% capable of doing everything that are capable of doing but we have to recognize the differences between men and women and we, we you know women need to stop blaming uh, men for their problems you know take that Katie's opinion cunt uh, Katie's opinion is a cunt Take her, for example. She just does nothing but blame men for her problems. That makes her a fucking cunt. Um, just like men who do nothing but blame women for their problems. You know, women don't like nice guys, blah, blah, blah. That guy's a fucking loser. Uh, he's a fucking pussy. Katie's opinion is a cunt, and those guys are pussies. And it's important to recognize uh, what qualifies someone like that. But as long as... As long as women continue to eat up this, this sort of bullshit that Katie's opinion people put out, and as long as men continue to eat up the bullshit that other pussies like them put out, uh, we're, we're going to continue to be in a little bit of a sex war, uh, the war of the sexes as it is. So that, 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 that was my rambling critique.